Whew. Only takes a minute or two to actually get them, but this was just set in kind of a secondary run location. We actually saw them running through this area before. Let's go ahead shake this guy out here. This is one of the smaller colonies that I have, so this guy really had to cram himself to get in there. Nice, probably one of the bigger ones that we got out of this location. You can tell at his tail, they've actually been fighting. Got the tip nipped off, so. Might be a lack of food that they're experiencing with all the all the ice and the lower water levels that they're starting to fight each other. But really good furred out muskrat. We'll go ahead, actually reset this trap here. Make sure the doors work, which is fine. Make sure that it's in the ground a little bit. Perfect. We just have the stake right at the side. The rung kind of funnels down into a really small strip. We're just using this as a blocker and also a marker, hopefully to make them run right into this gate that's right next to it, goes right up and gets caught. He most likely came in from this way where it was more of a narrow path because he was fighting to get out of this side. So yeah, we'll keep going, keep checking traps. There we got this raccoon. Small guy, he literally got caught by his three nails, just the first joint there. But good prime for him nonetheless, and we're needing to get these guys out of here for the farmer's sake as well. Though he's not the biggest, he'll still do just fine. We'll go ahead and get him and that muskrat back and get him skinned out. That's it that's it for this weekend sadly just because of just short time limit but we'll be back out here on wednesday night to check all the muskrat traps in the water we got our trap right here that we can actually see it's supposed to get pretty cold down into single digits in a day or two. What I'm doing is just preempting it. Breaking up all this ice so I have less that I have to chop through when the bad stuff actually comes. Just make it easier on myself. No point in having an extra inch of ice to have to chop through every hole when it can take me about five seconds to do it here. Let's see. We can mostly see it, but I want to make sure I broke off enough that I can get it out easy here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Let's shove this back down in the run. Just like that door works. Might even move it that way a little bit. That door works as well. I think we're pretty much getting to the end of our time at this marsh. All the sets are becoming pretty unproductive.
this one, this one's still set. Got over here. This is our last one, our last chance. Well, I guess we already got one out of the marsh nearby here, but last chance for this marsh. I'll see if I can just pull all this crud out without disturbing the trap. Mm. Can't see it. That's a good sign. It's fired off, another good sign. Trap doesn't want to come out of the hole. That's another good sign. And we got a wrap. Not the biggest one by any means, of course. When you set your traps down on the ice, make sure that you have water on it or else their fur will stick to it and then they get, they'll get tore up pretty bad. But yeah, we got Decent size, average muskrat here. Just running right along this feed line. And they like to round this corner and come around. We'll go ahead and take them out. We also got the other mat muskrat from tonight. This was a two day check. We had about, we had a lot of traps out. Just, I wanted to get every single one out here that I could. So sadly, but I think this place is pretty much played out. There might be one one more three day check in me for this area, but that'll probably be, be it. We'll go ahead and pack up our hatchet, pack up our setter. We got a rat right here. I'm just using my phone for a light so you guys can actually see. So we got this rat right there. Then on the other marsh, we actually got this rat. Pretty similar in size. This one's a little bit, a little bit heftier, but should skin right about the same. Yeah, we'll keep moving. Hey guys, we're out here another day. Checking the muskrat traps. I might end up pulling them. I'm not sure yet still debating uh anyways whew, just got walked out here real cold out it's only about in the single digits and then the last two days it's actually been negative we had a big snowstorm so a lot of drifting and stuff um but we'll go ahead and get this one chopped out here make sure y'all can see got the Got the puppers out with us. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Got a rat in that one. Think we can go two for two, side by side. I knew that this would be an active run. Just due to where it's at. It's one of the last deep channels that they have in this area to actually run. And that one's not hit. It looks like it froze up. So if anything did come through, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Whew. I checked these things 
two, three days ago and it already accumulated that much ice, I'm just not gonna fight that. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the sets, at least these two at least. I might end up leaving the other ones, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully back there, they're not as frozen in just because of a little more water. But yeah, that's a good sized muskrat. Take that any day of the week. He came right up to get that carrot, so. Good run coming from this hut over here over to that one over there. I don't feel like taking them all out. I just wanna, wanna call the herd. So we'll go on and move on to the other, other marsh. There's a muskrat running across land right now. He's over at that hut, walking over it. it must be because I broke that hole. Right over there. See him just chilling. Come here, heel. See how close we can get heel. Make sure the dog don't destroy him. What you have to, buddy? Oh, he's like, oh fuck. I fucked up, man. The dog wants him. No. Leave the poor thing be. How the hell did you get out? Run, little buddy, run. I know, this sucks. She wants him. Stop. We don't attack poor little muskrats on top of the water. They got no they got no hope. Anyways, that was kind of cool. In between all the like foot of chopping that I'm doing, yeah. So a muskrat, they're still roaming. I don't know how we got out of the water, but that's pretty strange.